This video is to show you how to jitter data using Excel. So what we have here are our X and Y data points. And so I have plotted um, on this scatter plot the relationship between total statistics experience of students and their fear of math related subjects. And so since many of the students had the same value for fear of math, they all sort of end up clustered together on this line. And so we can't see all of the points that are here. We can tell that there are multiple points because this line is a little bit thicker, but we can't see how many there are. So one way to deal with that is to jitter the data. And that means to just create a little bit of random noise so the points aren't all together. They're a little more spread out. So what we want to do is go over here and do equals random, close the parentheses, and then you just multiply it by a fairly small value because you don't want to skew the data too much. So I'm going to use 0.1 here and hit enter. And so that has created a random amount of noise between 0 and 0.1. So I'm just going to drag that down, and there are my values for that. And then I'm going to go over here and insert a column. And then in this column, I am going to say equals this plus random noise and hit Enter. And so now you have your new data point. So we would just want to drag that down. OK. So there's our new data set. And what we want to do is select all of this and then insert another scatter plot. So I'm going to take this down here. Sorry. OK. So we can already tell that the points are in a little different position than they were before. We can already tell there are lots more than we could see. But what we're going to do is go to marker options and use the same circle like we used before. And then no fill. And then you can tell a lot better how many points there actually are on this line. Um, because we have added a little bit of noise. And so you can see that it's a lot different than it first appeared in this graph before. And that is how you jitter data in Excel.